Good morning. Today I would like to teach you how to conduct an employee review. Uh, just to give you a little background basically on what uh, us as business people do. We like to <clears throat> start businesses, make sure that they have an owner, employees that work for it, and a need to help you basically sell what you're trying to do. Uh, so as we create our own business, we got to create a structure of how we are going to uh, basically produce a good that is going to help those around the, around the area of the world, basically wherever, to make sure that we can make our money. Uh, so in the business world, owners that own company have to hire people to work for them and produce that good. So today I'm going to focus on what a manager or an owner would do to take care of the employee side and how they should uh, conduct an employee review. Uh, first off, I just want to explain exactly what an employee review is. Uh, basically, it is employee evaluation uh, of what they are doing employee evaluations are difficult but necessary at times uh, it is the it is the process that managers and workers agree on common goals evaluate past problems celebrate success and develop a game plan for future changes <clears throat> uh, that is the main thing that we focus on when we are conducting an employee review uh, an employee review form is a formal document with questions and discussion points that examines your efficiency and productivity. Companies may also use an employee review form to commend you on your outstanding work. That is why we do employee reviews is to make sure everything is working together on the goal that we have set or our mission or our vision as the company and that we can commend each and every one that is working for us in the company on their good work that they're doing and vice versa if people aren't doing what they're supposed to we need to sit down and talk with them and say hey this is not working you're not doing what you need to do i'm not getting on you but we're going to make sure we put a step in place to make sure that we are productive and that we uh, do our most in our business uh, work uh, <clears throat> first things first to start out with an employee uh, review we need to make sure that we don't go into the review empty-handed that we first examine the employee we are focusing on uh, we basically just look at them hey this is what they're doing this is what we need to do to make sure we're basically just running an evaluation on them. Uh, we talk to their peers. Uh, we look at the reviews on our company. If we're in like a, a restaurant type setting, we look at our Yelp reviews, uh, just making sure that uh, nothing has gone wrong with service, uh, pace of service, that type of thing. Uh, how fast we're getting the product done, how efficient. Uh, after we get the feedback back we analyze it we see okay hey this is where John is this is what he is doing this is how fast he is working this is how efficient he is uh, this is what his peers have to say um, and that this is what I see as as he is working after we get the feedback and we analyze all that we then take some notes we try to understand okay hey this is what I think we should do better. Uh, you take your notes, you align your notes with the company's vision or goals, just to make sure that we are being focused on our goal and working towards uh, the one thing that we are trying to do is, is make money and, and be an efficient uh, type company. So as soon as we get that done, uh, we then set up a time to meet with our employee uh, we got to make sure that it is more likely at a downtime in the day to where we can pull the the employee off to the side or in a private setting uh, just so we're not around our peers uh, so they don't feel 
like we're, we're getting on them, we're nagging them, that type of stuff, just so we can have a formal uh, meeting. Once we get that formal meeting going, uh, we basically break down <clears throat> the feedback that we received. Okay, hey, this is, this is where we're at as a company. Um, this is what your peers are saying about you. This is how you're working in our company. Um, and then we, we basically give them our own feedback on how we we see them, what they're doing good, what they can do to improve. At this time, we also want our employee to communicate with us, have them be open and say, hey, this is what I'm struggling with. This is what I see when I'm in the workforce. Uh, I'm really struggling with this thing. Oh, I really like that we use this part of technology or that we applied this it is really helping us meet our goals and that type of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> and then after that, we just want to make sure that we're, we are straightforward with them. And we're not trying to beat around the bush, but we're also not nagging on them. Because when that happens or we're nagging on them, basically, they're going to shut down. They're not going to want to work with the person that is doing the, the, the review because they just feel like they're not... Uh, they're not satisfied in the company with their efforts people are going to work hard uh, so we want to make sure that this employee review is concise it is straightforward but we're also focusing on the good things that they do uh, in, in our setting as uh, as as workers we also want to make sure that we don't leave anyone hanging at that time with misunderstandings or not understanding the expectations that we have set. Uh, we wanna make sure that our goal that we have set with them or that they understand the company's goals so that we can work each and every day with that mindset, hey, this is why I'm here at work. This is what we are trying to complete and this is what I need this person to do or us as a team to do to make sure that we complete our goals. After we finish that, we got to make sure that we follow up with them uh, each and every day. Not every day, maybe once, twice a week, or maybe once a month, depending on how severe the goal is or uh, just how the type of worker the person is. Usually, if it's a good worker, you don't really need to follow up with them and make sure that they're doing what they need to do. But if it's someone that is lacking or struggling, uh, just check in with them make sure that we are uh, completing our goals uh, working towards that um, like i said the big thing is is when we are doing our employee reviews is that we need to focus on the vision of the company state hey this is what we're trying to get to this is where we are and this is what we need you to do as an employee for so-and-so company uh, let's, let's get it done uh, I know that sometimes it is hard but it is very necessary because we need to talk about what's going on what's going wrong what they see and I, I believe that employee uh, reviews are very beneficial they're going to help the company grow uh, at these times we can be able to discuss their performance uh, we can also uh, help animate or basically give them something to work for, like a promotion or a raise or time off, uh, just so that they work hard each and every day. And so that's the most important is that we focus on themselves, how they are doing what they need to do better or what they're doing good commend them and then make sure that they stay focused on working towards our uh, goal as a corporation or a company